Wonderful opportunity, and I'm looking forward to it, man. John, what do you say about the fight? Man, I love it. You know, uh, like you said, it's a, it's a great opportunity. It, it, it never happens exactly how you expect it to happen, but uh, it came up actually at a perfect time for us. So, you know, we're, yes. we're grateful and excited. <laughs> looking forward to the opportunity to compete. Short notice, Gerald. How you feel about that? Uh, it's not. It's not the. Uh, you gonna do this way? Yeah, that's right. I got that wide up. No, I'm, I'm talking. About the, yeah, so. No, no, no. If it's wider, the other way. I think it's wider this way. Um, what's the question? Short notice fight. Yeah, it's short notice, but but the good thing about us, man, we stay ready all the time. We stay in the gym. We don't take too much time off. It's like we're here. We, this, this is our life. This is what we do. This is what we love to do. We love to be here. So when the opportunity came, we were able to accept. It was no problem for us. In boxing, everybody has a chance. Tell me about that. Uh, as far as like your opportunity in the ring, like a puncher's chance, mm -hmm. yeah, but we have more than that, you know what I mean? We've been working hard, uh, we're well prepared for this, you know, we, we, we do a lot of training, we do a lot of drills, we do a lot of work that, that mental work that, that's, that's prepared us for this fight, you know, and every fight that I've had, man, has prepared me for this moment, you know what I mean? That big fight I had with Amir Mansour taught me a, 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 a big lesson, that was a big turning point for me in my career, and I'm just grateful for him, man, and, and, and the lessons that I, lo and that I learned from that. It's crazy. You've been calling out all the big names. Yeah. People sometimes ridiculed because they didn't understand that now it's happening. That's right. You got you to speak it into existence, you know. I, I, like I said, man, I want to thank God. I want to thank my team. I want to thank Al Heyman. You know, Al Heyman is a big part of this. Um, he put me in this position, man. He's been... He's been uh, helping me out throughout my career and just and just putting me in the right situations. You know, my team, John Pullman and, and Mike Rodriguez and, and everybody, man. It's just like every, we work so good together, man. It's, it's a beautiful thing to be here at this gym. I love being here. You know, I, if I don't got nothing, I, I come hang out here because it's, it's a great place to be. We have beautiful people here, beautiful spirits and energy, man, that, 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 that'll carry you throughout the day. So I look forward to this, man. I look forward to sharing the love and... and, 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 and and making history, man, it's gonna be fun. Gerald, I, I read somewhere where Deontay Wilder said that he has tremendous respect for you. Yeah. However, he says this is too much, too soon. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? What do you have to say? Hey, that, that, uh, that's, uh, that's his opinion. Uh, but I, I know that at every moment, at, for, for somebody to get to a certain place, man, you gotta, you gotta pass certain tests. And you'll never know if you're afraid. You know, you can't. I can't worry about what he's saying, or I can't. I can't worry about the critics. I gotta worry about. I gotta analyze the situation and see if it's good for me. And we felt that this situation is good for me, so I'm ready to move. You know, move forward and, and test it. You know, we'll, we'll see on February 25th. But I, but I know in my heart, and I know. You know, because time it's tested time and time again right here in this gym. This and I know for sure, man. I know I know how I am in the ring. I know I can handle Deontay Wilder. And I, I'm ready. Now you have another stable mate you've been working with, uh, Dominic Brazil. Yeah. Uh, it was a treat yesterday to see you guys spar. Yeah. What have you learned from Dominic Brazil? Because he's another guy who has challenged for a title against yeah. AJ. It's cool, man. It's just it's, he's been he's got a lot of experience. He's he's fought with guys all over the world, so he gets to see and he's a big long guy. Uh, but me and Dominic came up together as far as we, we, we pretty much turned pro at the same time and we just always helped each other out and just, uh, and I told him yesterday, man, we started from the bottom, now we're here. You know, he had his opportunity, now, now I get my opportunity at, at the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World, man. I get chills every time I think about it, you know, it's a dream come true for me and my team, man. I, I look forward to bringing that belt back here and just, you know, uh, just, just, and that's to the list, man, all the great accomplishments that we have here. Gerald, WBC belt. Yeah. With you being part Mexican. Yeah. What does that belt mean to you concerning the fact that that's from Mexico City? That's right, man. It's a, it's a, it's a great honor. It's a great honor to, to represent them. A lot of great champions have worn that. Muhammad Ali, Joe Lewis, Mike Tyson, Lennox Lewis, all my favorite fighters, you know, have worn that belt. And I would love to, to put my name on that list of, of great men and, 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 and live on that legacy that Muhammad Ali, you know, that he, that he shared, that he that he tried to spread, you know what I mean? He wanted to be, sh spread the message of peace and love, you know what I'm saying? I want to do that, man, especially with all this all this stuff going on right now in, this, in the world, man, it's crazy. You know, I want to I want to be that example and that role model and, and shed light on that. With your Mexican background, you'll also be following us as the first Mexican to win the U.S. title. That's right, man. Put me in the Guinness Book of World Records, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when I was doing the research yesterday, um, I found a little weird thing. Uh, Deontay's only fought two uh, title, uh, previous title uh, contenders, mm -hmm. and they're making a, a 
lot of uh, noise about like well, Jared's only 18-0, Deontay's mm -hmm. 37 and 0. Mm -hmm. But you've fought the same amount of title contenders that he's fought. Yeah, I, I, man, that's the that's the great part about us, man. We're not we're not scared to take a risk. We're not scared to take the face of the challenge. You know, we, we know we know we put in the work. Give us a certain amount of time, and you know, you said put give us a month, and we could be ready for anybody. Um, especially now, man, you need those hard lessons that I that I took along the way of, of, my, of my career to understand how to, how to live in that ring, man. It's, it's it's hard, man. You got a lot of critics out there, a lot of people talking talking noise, man, but they don't know what it is to be in there with a dangerous fighter or, or getting punched. You know what I mean? It's, it's hard, you, and it's and it's a, it's hard lessons that you have to learn, but they're necessary lessons. And I've taken I've taken enough lessons now to to be prepared for this moment. Gerald, you're one of the most athletic heavyweights in the world. Arguably of all time, how do you feel that your athleticism is going to cause you know a major matchup problem with Wilder? Yeah. Because he's used to fighting a lot of stick figures, yeah. not most people, and you're completely opposite of that. Yeah, man. The, the great part about us, man, we we learn we learn from the ground up. I had to to be successful and to be in this position right now. I had to learn how to be defensive, man. So a lot of time early in my career, people would say, well, "How come he's not doing this? How come he's not doing that?" You know, they see me as I'm, I'm a big, strong guy. Why is he not pressing this guy? Why is he not putting the heat on this guy? Because I'm learning. You know what I'm saying? I, I had to learn that. If I didn't learn those lessons, man, I'd get my butt knocked out. I wouldn't be in this position. We wouldn't be having this conversation or this media day or nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad that we took our time and did it on our time and in the way that we wanted to and learned and, and took the proper procedure. You know what I mean? But to, to be here. So I'm grateful for my team, man. For everybody being patient you know even myself I get frustrated at times I want to fight more you know or whatever but you know the time in between after after you know I had a couple f tough fights I was like okay I'm not gonna be in a rush anymore I'm gonna take this time to learn and I'm a and I'm a and I'm gonna get better you know what I'm saying so when I get back in the ring uh, it'll show I've been thinking about that man do I go back home to the Bay Area do I go do I do it down here in LA do I do it in Mexico uh, where, where where should I do it at man it's, it's, that's a that's a tough question well, but three all three, yeah, man. <laughs> definitely. I, I know you guys can get sandwiches three different times. Hey. That's right, man. <laughs> I'm there. I, I gotta, uh, I gotta spread the love, man, all over. So my question to you is: When you bring the title back home, are, is your first title of defense gonna be at Galen? Hey man, I want to fill up the, the LA Coliseum, man. Okay. I want to fill up the LA Coliseum, man. A hundred thousand people in there, man, and and, and put on the show, That's you right. know, for the world to see, man. I, I look forward to that. Ali lit the lit the uh, lit the lit the torch there, man. And, it, it's 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 amazing place, man. A lot of history is there. I want to say I always say I want to take back my belt, man, and leave it alongside you know all those great Heisman Trophy winners there at USC, man. That'll be I can leave my legacy there, and uh, man, I feel I get chills thinking about that. You know what I'm saying? So I got a lot. I got a lot of man. I got so much to fight for. You know, I got so much to push me and drive me, man. I like all I got to do is think about those moments, man, and those things, man. It'll give me the, all the all the. Anything I need to just keep pushing forward. What do you Carol, think uh, Coach Carroll would tell you about this fight? Man, advice? Coach Carroll is, is, is a guy that's all about co competition. You know, that's what I learned at USC, man. You got the best athletes all across the country, you know, competing against each other for position. You know what I mean? And they're all making each other better. They're sharpening each other up. You know what I mean? That's cool. That's the cool part about Dominic Brazil. You know what I mean? You, you get to work with all these guys. I work with Malik Scott. and. Avery Gibson and Johnny Rice, anybody across the board, I can work with middleweights. Anybody that's gonna help me tighten up my game, man. We, we all we got a bunch of good guys here at the gym. We got the Lopez brothers. We got Sergey. We got Buddy McGirt. We got a lot of we got a lot of experience here, and uh, it's just great to learn from, man. I, I take it all in. I watch. I watch. I try to learn every time somebody's in the ring. I'm trying to pick up something to add to my game. So, Coach Carroll would just say, "Go knock his ass out." <laughs> <laughs> just after your football background in college. Um, you sticking with the Rams or are you going to wait for the charges to come through? A 49er fan, bro. Stop. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Gerald, how, how much is boxing mental to you compared to physical? It's all mental, man. I, I've had physical my whole life. And boxing is the toughest sport, man. If you don't understand the mental aspect of boxing, you're not going to make it far at all, man. It, it's, it's the... That's what people think. Oh, go go run 10 miles. Go do this. Go do that. No, it ain't about that. You you got the sloppiest guy that can do 12 rounds because his mental game is is strong. And then you got then you got the guy that looks like in the dance man and he just can't do it. Why? Because his mental game is weak. You know what I mean? A lot of guys that uh, say that a lot of guys that that got the the one punch knockout power they're weak mentally. 
uh, we don't got that with Deontay Water, man. He, he's a tough dude, man. He got he he brings it all the way, man. And he, he's a he's a real competitor. You know what I'm saying? When, when he's when he's when he's down tough, he's gonna fight back, man. But I look forward to that too, cause I like to compete too, man. I like to scrap too. But now I got all the proper tools that I need to get in there and mix it up with him. Before, you know, it might have been a toss up, but now I'm, I'm gonna come in there clean, man, and I'm I'm gonna show you, man. I'm gonna shock the world. What do you make of the way uh, Charles Martin has? has you come along after the last yeah. you're aware of what, what do you make of somewhat of a mental collapse. It seems I don't, I don't want to say. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know what I don't know what's going on, man. Uh, he he's uh you know he's he showed me nothing but love. You know what I'm saying? And, and I came up with him too, man. So much love and respect to him. Um, as long as he's happy, man, and he's living his life the way he wants to, that's all that matters to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't know I don't know all the details of it, anything, and I don't want to judge put any judgment from the outside looking in without having a real conversation with him. I don't know what I don't know what's going on, so yeah. any thoughts on the uh Klitschko versus AJ fight and if victorious do you want the winner of that fight? Of course man. I look that's that's what that's what I want to do. I want to fight the best. You know I want to fight the best. I look forward I, I, I called it I said I want to win the title from Deontay Wilder then I want to go over there and fight and face Anthony Joshua. You know, I, I watch these guys. Of course, man, the, the heavyweight division is popping right now. We got all these all these big fights going on, and, and I want to compete against the best. You know what I mean? So I look forward to that. I've been comparing that fight to uh, the Atlanta Falcons and and and, mm -hmm. and uh, the Patriots. Yeah, the Patriots, man. So who's who? Uh, the, uh, uh, Anthony Joshua is the Atlanta Falcons, man. He's young, strong, fast. You might get the early knockout, man, but you gotta be careful if you let uh go stay in the game too long, man. You might pull the Tom Brady and come back and upset you at the end. <laughs> And what makes you so much better than Deontay Wilder? I'm not. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not saying. I'm. I'm not. Look. I'm, I'm not worried about Deontay Wilder. I'm worried about me, man. As long as my game is tight, you guys. You guys are gonna see. You know. As long as I, I, I'm the best me that I could be that night, that, then I'm gonna be victorious. I'm not worried about what Deontay Wilder has. I'm not worried about his power. I'm not worried about his length, his height, none of that. You know. what I'm saying his his 37 wins, his 36 knockouts. I'm not worried about none of that. I, I'm gonna take care of my business. I know what my job is and what my goal is, and that's it. And I got I, I put my head down and get to work. You know. And at the end of the night, man, that, that's all I could do. With well, that being said, Deontay is kind of a showboat in the, in the ring. Yeah. And I think that's because of people that he's fought. Well, if he showboats with me, I'm gonna hit him in his mouth. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna stop real quick. You know, he's gonna he's gonna take me serious real fast. It's not gonna take long to say, all right, just do this for real. Right. You know what I mean? Because I am real and I'm coming. All right. Hello. So more questions? Okay. Um, you wanted to stand up interview. And um, talk. You want to do one and then talk to Greg and then you can get the ring. Good. Whatever you guys need. Whatever you guys.